Good morning. It's Sunday morning at 10:49 a.m. December 11th, 2011. And I'm departing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm departing from Kingsville, Maryland. And making my way to Roselle, Maryland. A distance of 13 miles today. It's a bit nippy this morning. About 30 degrees, I think. My face is cold, my lips are cold. But I'm marching on. I had plans to walk yesterday. But had to cancel it because my right foot was giving me issues. That blisters hadn't healed real well. So I took a day off. And now I'm back to marching. I'm still on schedule to be at home on December 17th in Stafford, Virginia. As a reminder, today's walk is dedicated to an American hero, veteran, my father. United States Army retired Staff Sergeant Thomas G. McEwen. He proudly served from 1948 until 1968. Was involved in a couple of campaigns, the Korean War and parts of Vietnam. Very highly decorated, but was also wounded a few times. I had originally dedicated yesterday to him and the reason I chose December 10th is because that was my parents' anniversary. We have lost both our parents. And I wanted to leave that day for him. He was one of the bravest men I've ever known. Old school, hard as a rock, very disciplined and a true authoritarian, but he was my dad. He was deployed to heaven on October 13th, 1989. And though it's been over 30 years, I still miss that guy so much. I miss you, Dad. I miss you very much. And I miss my mother as well. We lost her a couple of years ago. One of the bravest women I've ever known. Love you both. I'm lucky enough to be escorted this morning by the brave firefighters from Kingsville, Maryland. I've got a behind me and a vehicle in front of me and they'll be taking me all the way into Roselle we're hoping that the Roselle fire department will allow me to stay there tonight we haven't got any confirmation yet but if the worst happens and they can't let me stay there, these uh, firefighters will take me back to Kingsville and in the morning take me back to Roselle and I'll continue from there. So at least I have a backup plan. 
a beautiful day today. Clear skies, but it's very chilly. I'm lucky that I've headed south when I have, as I watch the Weather Channel in the northern parts of the country, up in New England, much colder and snow as well. So I've turned south just in time. To my daughter, honey, I love you very much. And every day, I'm more proud of you than the day before. And every chance I get, I brag about you. And people are amazed at what kind of young lady you, you are. At your strength. And just the kind of person that you are. My chest fills up with pride every time I talk about you. I could not ask for a better daughter. And as I always say, you're not just my daughter, but you're my best friend. I love you so much. Ma. And that's for you, baby girl. Well, let me get my mind back on the road. And I'll submit more videos as I go along. But for now, marching on and Semper Fi. Oh, I wanna, one last note, I almost forgot. Today marks three months on the road for me. And they've been three incredible months. The amazing people I've met, the uh, adventures I've had have been more than I ever anticipated. The bravery of some of the veterans I've met is just, it humbles me. You know, I'm, I'm out here trying to help a lot of people. And I take pride in what I'm doing. And I'm glad that I have the opportunity, and I thank God I had the chance to do this. But I have to admit, these people are helping me. When you do something like this, you really learn about who you are. And this has been a, uh, an awakening experience for me. I look forward to the uh, upcoming adventures in the next five years and the people that I'm going to meet as well. Okay, on that note, let me close and march on. Semper Fi.